Hello guys, Smitty here. Many of you have been asking many times what accessories should I equip or what golden accessories combination is the best and so on. I made a short review about it in my last gearing and stats video guide, but seems like this particular topic has to be reviewed in a whole separate video, since the jewelry select depends on many factors and it's quite hard to tell you what is actually best. And before we start, disclaimer. All the prices for enchanted accessories set are an average expectation. It can be less or more, depends on the luck. Anyway, it doesn't really matter for the final result overall. Enjoy! I will include accessories enchantment stats for some of the sets in the video for a clearer look to the guide itself. Also, as I said, the best choice depends on many factors, and one of them is money. If you are free to player, at this point of the game there is no better choice than going blue Morbin set plus 8. I know, it can be quite hard to enchant, but it will make you free of accessories enchant up until engraving system update in game. Even if you have it plus 7, it is still good, just take your time, you have plenty of it. Also, if you have a different pieces of blue accessories other than Tyrion or Morbin, consider getting one of those, as this gives the best stats. While enchanting, here is a simple note. Use silver to restore up until plus 6, and then up to plus 8 use restoration scrolls, that can be bought in shop for black pearls. These reset every week. Now let's compare that set choice with other sets and grades of accessories. Morbin set plus 8 gives 227 CP, considering resonance, 12.5 attack speed, 10 critical chance, and 6 of branch damage. All that combined with top yellow equipment gives you a total of 30% crit chance and 17% attack speed. If you don't have dual slot offhand, then with a double stat offhand you will be able to max your stats already at that point of the game and have 30% crit and 20% attack speed. Amazing option. It is quite easy to buy those on market and the overall cost will be around 2000 black pearls, considering that you will buy everything at high price on market and also the restoration scrolls. Now let's look down to purple set. For the comparison I choose the plus 5 Shamir set. It is the same as Morbin, but for some reason in our version it gives 2.5 crit and 2% attack speed, and it means already a bad choice. Even though it gives 232 CP considering resonance, branch damage is halved compared to blue set. Also the attack speed is only 10%, but crit 12.5. With top golden set equipped, you will have an overcap of crit and undesirably low 14.5 attack speed. You say, yes, but I can have golden or orange attack speed weapon and there will be no problem. You are right actually, that is why I say choice depends on many factors. But undesirable 4200 black pearls price makes it totally not worth, even for cash players. And if you invest some more into plus 9 blue set, you just go over the limits. Though, I don't suggest you doing this, unless you have a lot of scrolls and want to try your luck. Alright, now moving to golden plus zero set is where the things get even more tricky. Overall it gives 227 CP, same as plus 8 blue set, but no branch damage at all, and only around 14% of substats, attack speed and critical. Also considering the prices, now it will cost around 4000 pearls. The only great bonus of Golden Javerly is huge AP boost of around 1400 CP. But is it worth at this point? I don't think so, unless you want to have maximum advantage for Arena. But in case you will want to have maximum substats, you will have to waste your precious crystal slots for attack speed or critical stones, and lose around 20 CP. But if you are really into the gold Javerly and thinking of upgrading it soon, then I would suggest you going for 3 pieces of critical and 2 attack speed, as it will give you the well-rounded stats, but you will want a critical and attack speed offhand for it, and all that will be left is to put 2 attack speed crystals in your equipment, and you are good to go. Alright, done with the free to play, we can move on to the VIP lodge of those who are kindly buying the game for us. And since the prices for these sets are way too high to be able to farm them in-game, I will also include the prices in box for every set. In that case, let's review three different scenarios of accessory set and a bonus one at the end. First will be purple plus 8, 279 CP and 6% branch damage, same substats as before. All that will cost around 
11,000 black pearls and a ton of restoration scrolls. In real money that will be about 300 bucks and more because of the restoration scrolls once again. Next is gold plus 3, 271 CP, 1% branch damage and same substats as before and will cost around 16,000 black pearls. No restoration scrolls though. In money it's around 450 bucks. And the last one is orange set, totally not worth for the CP, it gives only 259 CP, but 1500 HP and a total of 15% crit and 12.5% attack speed. With this you will forget about substat maxing priority forever, but the price tag of 31,000 black pearls or around 880 bucks tells us that that's a very bad idea to be honest unless you gain 1000 an hour and you don't really care of spending some to get the best Gucci gang shit and just to add a better alternative to that for almost same around 880 bucks you can get a gold plus 5 set that will give you 50 more CP and 3% branch damage all is up to you, with so much money I would go for gold 5, 2 attack speed and 3 critical of course as oranges are still hard to get and the CP starts to shine only after you throw some enchants into it. And that was it for this video, hope it was useful. If you have more questions or remarks about that topic, make sure to comment down below. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. That was Smitty, have a nice day!